T-Man 978 Show Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978 reviewing Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Decepticon Blastoff. Looking at this cover, apparently he can still reach orbit. Most bots unlucky enough to find themselves in the sights of Decepticon Blastoff don't have any idea what's about to hit them. His preferred method is to attack from orbit, destroying targets with a pinpoint laser strike from high above the planet's surface. And really, as you read this, I don't know if that bio is still valid, to be honest. I'm not going to waste too much time here. Basically, they took Firefly and painted him in blast-off colors. Blah, blah, blah. Although he's not a space shuttle, this color scheme is still very much eye-catching, just like Vortex. I love it. I love this purple and this greenish-brown color right there. It just goes together well. And once again, no light piping, but the paint they use right there just really pops on the, the eyes. It's, it just looks like it's glowing. Like as long as there's light in the room, it looks like it's glowing. But you've seen his body several times. One thing different or one thing that I'm just noticing in his legs, they molded it to look like he has landing gear in his legs. But of course they don't fold out, which is quite boring. This is him from the back. But like I said, you've seen this mold. You just need to see the color scheme. You'll see more of that in vehicle mode. His head can look up because it's using an older head sculpt. The newer head sculpts don't seem to be able to look up, which I don't really like too much. The legs aren't super, I mean, they're, they're good enough. They're good. You see I'm able to hold these poses and whatnot. But these shoulders, especially this joint right here, is super tight and unlike quick slinger this landing gear actually stays in place and i saw in a promotional image or in the box art the landing gear is purple but they went with the same greenish brown color this jet mode you've seen it before the nice purple like i said the purple really pops on this dark greenish brown color i like that decepticon logo back there on this side as well, looks like a robot smashed up underneath of a jet, so it's not really aerodynamic. And it has landing gear, but no landing gear back here, so it sits on its feet. The gun is actually painted like a gunmetal color, and they left the handle gray. I guess so when you're sliding it back and forth through the peg holes, it won't tear off the paint. The paint is already gone. They did. They just did it for you. They took all the joy from you. But of course, these weapons can port on there. I always figured that Blast Off would be some type of retool of Alpha Bravo, since Alpha Bravo has some space shuttle characteristics. I thought he would be a retool of that, but actually, in Japan, or Takara told me they wanted him to be an all-new mold. But Hasbro, I guess, didn't want to wait for that mold mold or I don't know I, this really makes me feel like once again I mentioned this in another review that they kind of rushed some of these figures out on in in the US at least while in Japan they just decided to wait and give the fans what they really wanted but uh, I, as far as this actual figure right here I can't really complain too much about it because it is solid in the robot mode it, it has all the articulation you would want. Jet mode, yeah, of course, you know that's just a clunky mess because it just looks like a robot underneath of a jet. But, yeah, I guess he, he is what he is. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like him the least out of all the Combaticons we have here in the U.S. Anyway, if you like this review, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. T-Man 978, out of here.